this. This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac, my new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But my lady, he's a witcher. Said so himself, back by the gates. Captain, do you truly believe Rosa for Artra would train with random clods calling themselves swordmasters? No. The Var Artras demand the very best. Thus, we've hired a witcher. Take him to the training room. Now. As you say, miss. Have you realised what you've gotten yourself into? I hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Uh, Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the little miss. You'll earn the ambassador's eye. Follow me. You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your worth. better than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Am I imagining things? Didn't we just have this conversation in the garden? The garden? Yes, yes, in the garden. So what was it you said? Why are you here? Before I ask, Gotta admit, you do pretty well with a sword. One pointer. Don't expose your left flank when you dodge. Oh, I know. Terrible habit. Can't seem to get rid of it. I'd hope to find someone in Novigrad who could help me to do so. But... Don't you dare try to dazzle me with advice. Already admitted you're not here to give me lessons. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the Bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. You should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. 
What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind, Edna Va'atra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Hang on. So it was you in the garden? <laughs> of course it was me. Why, did Rosa try to play you for a fool? Don't be mad. We've done this since we were children. People have always mistaken us for one another. Can someone please explain what this is all about? Which of you met with Dandelion? No need to get angry, Instructor. I'll explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poet's worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna! What? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. What are two young Nilfgaardian aristocrats doing in Novigrad? Dying of boredom. Papa's a diplomat. He also has many business dealings in Novigrad. He's a member of the Trade Corporation. Takes us along everywhere he goes, and must then find us new tutors in each spot. And so in Novigrad, the task fell to the poet Dandelion. Rosa's betrothed. Edna! Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Wonder how the war's going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid, and on who captures Novigrad first. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city. Never taken sides. Always stayed out of conflicts. Oh, even children know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. And they say the city's treasury's bursting with enough to equip two armies. Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war's disrupting trade, and people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. Changing subjects. Who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman. Not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well? Can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. House here, tomorrow. Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher.
How are you keeping, Bobby? Miss your sultan, you old bum? What's this? Ah, you're back! You met Poppy? She want to start talking any day now. That Field Marshal Duda's replacement? The Marshal was a parrot, you do remember, right? Where'd you get her? At auction. Some mages estate went under the hammer. Witch hunters and the eternal fire joined forces, staked out his place and rounded the sorry sap up, put his things up for sale. Happened to be passing by and saw this out. Came with her own cage. How could you resist? Good day. It weren't possible. Ah, but dandelions what matters now. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, no much a note. He wasn't staying with any of them. I'm not seen hiding or hair of him in ages. All I learned was a few of Dandelion's pickup lines. Of dubious worth. Hmm. Think I might have something better. What are you waiting for? Let's have at it! Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Ah, <laughs> that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up Dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how Dandelion handled meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? The laddie's head's on fire. The lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummer's troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Never there in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. 